Good morning, guys. Monday morning, about half nine in the morning. Uh, tell you what, I'm knackered. I really couldn't be bothered with work today. But tomorrow it's going to be worse because tomorrow I've got to be up like 5.30 or something because I've got a doctor's appointment at 20 past seven. It's the only appointment I could get to see my doctor. See the one that I need to see. Uh, yeah, God. After a lovely weekend, relaxing. I've not been looking forward to coming back to work. Yeah, but it's got to be done. Got to pay the wages and the, pay the mortgage and all that sort of thing. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, let's see how the day goes, eh? Hiya, guys. Hiya. Oh, it looks very dark. It was a lot lighter than that until I pressed the record button. <laughs> uh, home at last. It's been a hell of a day and it's pouring down now. I got finished work like 45 minutes late. Everywhere was locked up so uh, when I got back to work I'm eventually home. I'm aching like hell. Uh, I've got the bath running. Uh, Denise is just up there checking it for us. Oh, she's not going to make us a cup of tea. So I'm going to have a nice bath Going down, have me tea, have me painkillers, and go and relax in bed. Oh, uh, yeah, God, what a day! I'm shattered. Just been busy, busy, busy all day. Uh, get tomorrow over with. Then got Wednesday off, but I got got to Georgia to the, the dental hospital on Wednesday morning to have a braces checked. Because I know one of the things is loose, one of the little inserts or whatever is like come loose. Um, tomorrow morning I've got to get up really early because I've got a doctor's appointment at 20 past 7 in the morning <sighs> joy yeah uh, we'll see about a couple of things uh, plus works wanting a report done on me back mm. uh, uh, just so, so the same just so they can they, they cover themselves and I'm covered and everything they're doing everything by the book you know so they can make adjustments if need be and all that sort of thing uh, uh, I'll see the doctor about that in the morning mm. uh, Kelly Cockcroft sent a message today saying why don't I want to do the why don't me and me, Denise do the 50 random things about me that's going to take some doing I have to sit and write all that down. I'd never remember them. I'll give it a go. I'll see if I can come up with fifty. I'm quite a boring person, but um, I'll give it a go. <laughs> Let's just see what happens. It uh, doesn't sound easy at all. Fifty is a lot. I'd be struggling to come up with ten random things. Then mind fifty. Uh, anyway, I hope everybody had a brilliant weekend. Um, gonna hopefully, try and catch up in the vlogs later if I can sit long enough if I can get comfortable oh Denise and George I'll probably watch them but uh, I'll watch them if I can get comfortable uh, anyway I'm going to go and get in, uh, have this cup of tea and get in the bath so I'll catch you guys later morning guys it's uh, quarter past six in the morning <laughs> oh my <the> eyes <laughs> look bad Ah, oh, still aching. Uh, get something for breakfast and take my painkillers. I've got the coffee machine on, you can probably hear in the background. Gurgling away. <laughs> uh, busy day today, again. Might ask the boss if, if I can get everything done, if I can finish early, seeing I finished late last night. But we'll see. see. We'll see how the day goes. Early night for me last night, uh, 11 o'clock, which is quite early. Uh, I slept like a log, so comfortable. Once I got comfy in bed, it was lovely. Uh, today is forecast for rain all day, as far as I can tell, and it certainly looks wet outside. I know that already. Uh, Denise is just upstairs in the shower. I'm a quick shower before uh, 
I'll have a quick bath. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to tell you at the moment. I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, I'll try and uh, video some more during the day. Uh, catch you later. Uh. Yeah, I've got to tell you about something yesterday. It, oh, it's mind-boggling. I went down this road yesterday, and there was there was, there was a school further down. There was um, cars parked either side. And I was like halfway through and this woman decided like, oh, she was going to come through. You know, she just picked her kids up. Um, so I stopped and there was a gap for her to get through on the right hand side and get past this and everything. She was only driving one of those like Nissan Jukes or something. You know, it's not a big car. Oh my God, you would think she was trying to flip and manoeuvre a big double decker bus or something through there. She was like, oh. We'll try that again because the alarm went off. <laughs> Which is... Now's the time I normally get up. Yeah, she was, you would think she was trying to manoeuvre a double-decker bus through this gap. It was, like, uh, it was a massive gap. It was a good driven three foot either side. Oh my God. It makes me wonder how some people get their licences. Now I'm standing there going, come on, you can get through. <laughs> she, <Good> morning. <laughs> yeah, she... Oh. I thought we'd... When you take your driving lessons, then I, you know, if you're too nervous, you don't pass. <laughs> Mind-boggling. Seriously, it is. Yeah. Well, I'm back from the doctors. Yeah, uh, it's quite happy. The chest pains and everything. Well, <laughs> I told him about all the coke I drink and things like that. Um, you just sort of brush that past, and because I haven't been taking my lands up as well, which I'm supposed to take with. The naproxen to protect my stomach he's quite happy it's actually the naproxen that's causing the problems so he, he wants us to stop taking naproxen until i'm well clear of these these chest pains and take lansoprazole instead uh so yeah at least, <laughs> at least we know it's not the coke now um well the doctor's happy it's not the coke uh but yeah mm-hmm Well, as expected, it's busy. Yep, yeah, got loads to do here. Yeah. Uh, just taking a few moments. Just been blasting around the first few stops. So just taking a couple of moments to rest up. Uh, then I'll get going. At least my boss has said if I get all the work done, I can go home early because I finished late last night. So that was nice of her. Uh, I took a chance asking her, like I didn't want her to be funny about it, but you know, uh, works both ways. So, yeah. But if there's, if there's work to be done, I'll stay. I have no problem with that because it's there to be done. So, yeah, but hopefully I'll get it all, all done in time. Mm. Well, I was fascinated by that building. Rumours are it's going to be pulled down anyway, but you know, could be made into so much more. It's a fair size building. Uh, just taking the opportunity to blast down and pick Georgia up from school. She's on her way out now. So I've got one more job to go to. Then I can go home. Oh wait, I tell you what, it's one of those days, it's like cloudy and raining at quite a lot of the time, but damn hot and I'm sweating, my collar, my collar's been soaking quite a lot of the day. Oh, here she comes. I'd be glad to get home and get out my work clothes. Ugh. Yucky, yucky, yucky. <laughs> but anyway, I'm off tomorrow, hump day, yay, take George to the dentist, the dental hospital. Then, uh, yes, day is mine after that. Can't wait. So, catch you later. <laughs> I'm home, yes. Oh my God. I wish I could afford not to work. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, I am so glad to be finished. I've just taken my shirt off and dumped it in the laundry basket. It is soaking. It's hot and sweaty today. Horrible day. But I knuckered and I didn't get finished to work early. It's late yet again. Another like, well, it's two minutes to six now. I've been home about a quarter of an hour. Uh, yeah, I didn't get finished at the last drop until uh, 
half an hour after I should have been finishing work. So, bother. <laughs> so much for the early finish. Oh, that's hot, that sun. Yeah. Oh, having carbonara, I think, tonight. Lovely. With garlic bread. Mmm. Just nice for Georgia going to the dental hospital tomorrow and go, Hi Georgia, how are you? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Should we be honking a garlic? <laughs> I am knackered, knackered. Uh, just trying to think if there's any any news. No, I don't think there's any at the moment. Oh, Denise has just got a great deal on cat food. In big boxes, if anybody's got cats there. Big boxes, 40 odd pouches of Felix. Uh, our Asda, they've got them like half price, they're only like five pounds something, but they're normally about ten pounds something for, for a big box. So if anybody's got cats, quickly go and go and get some. I don't know if it's in all Asdas or what, but I'm half tempted to nip back up in my car and get another two boxes. I mean, it's well worth it. Uh, yeah, so good deal for you. <laughs> Well, we've just had a moment. <laughs> just went to put the Advantage Fleece stuff on Franklin. And it's run down its side down here. And Franklin straight away again. <laughs> it's like that. And fritzing out around the house. Um, I've had to ring the vets because it says if, if it comes into contact with the... Well, if it's, if it's swallowed, to seek medical advice straight away. So I rang the vets. Luckily enough, they were still open. And they've checked it up and said, yeah, should be fine. Just make sure he's got plenty of water and everything. Um, and he's just, like, hiding away. And like he looked in before a big frothy shoelace hanging down there. Uh, I said he should, fingers crossed, be be fine. Uh, his first time he's had this stuff on before, so <laughs> poor thing. <laughs> oh, my God. He just ran down and said, not a contact with the skin. Well, where else is you supposed to pull the scruff of the neck back and put it in direct contact with the skin? Uh, yeah, he was very impressed. <laughs> Molly is fine. I've got it on Molly there, and she's absolutely fine with it. Well, Denise put it on Molly. I put it on Franklin, so it's the way I put it on. Is, ugh, obviously, not work. Uh, but I'm sure he'll be fine. I'm sure he will be. Right. I've taken my Gaviscon. Uh, taken my painkillers and my Lanzoprazole. Which I'm supposed to be taking now. So I've taken that. I think I've crossed my stomach. will settle down as well. But that's all for today. I'm going to get going. Settle down. Watch some TV. And... See you all again tomorrow for hump day. <laughs> Bye for now, buddy. Take care.